Well, okay, YouTubers. Today we're making, as the title says, yellow gear marking compound. And as you can see right in here, we have a little bit of yellow, and that is from this test sample I made right here. Look how bright that is. And it's fairly easy to make. I was surprised and very impressed with the color. And uh, you will see that I used this cardboard and this plastic knife. And I said that was so impressive, I was going to make a video. So here we have some lithium grease. Uh, and in this jar, you can see the yellow on the handle. What I've done is I tried the blue that you can see here with some Vaseline and some blue chalk. And that didn't show good on the gear. But the yellow, oops, I apologize about that. The yellow is from turmeric. Turmeric, the yellow rice that you get at the Chinese restaurants. I mixed it with some olive oil. <clears throat> Sorry about that again. Let me readjust this. Okay, so it looks kind of nasty. It doesn't really look like it was gonna do well. But when I mixed this up and then went to wash my hands, I spilled a little bit on my hands. I noticed that left a yellow stain. So I'm just putting some of this on. Again, I know it looks brown, it looks nasty, but watch this. You, you can already see it turning yellow. Here we go. I got a little spatula knife, drywall knife, whatever. So I'm gonna start, look at that. Turmeric, just a little bit. I feel like Bob Ross, I'm getting ready to have a Bob Ross moment. Blend this all together. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I was, I was almost ready to spend the $8 on eBay for a little half an ounce tube of some of this yellow gear marking compound. And I said, there's got to be a better way. It can't be that difficult. And I happened to go online looking up a Chinese recipe. I wasn't looking for the yellow rice, but I happened to see that they used the turmeric to make the rice yellow. They put a little bit of turmeric in the water, the water starts to boil, they add the rice, boom. That's where you get your yellow rice. I never knew that either. Okay, so here we are, and I think this is darker than this one, so I'm going to come back here inside my pill bottle with the olive oil and turmeric, and, and you can see it in there, it's really way too much. So I'm going to rinse this bottle out, and I'm going to fill that up, I'm going to add some petroleum jelly to this mix right here and put it inside my bottle. So I've got, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll have probably more than I'll ever use. Pretty interesting. I thought this was a pretty neat, uh, a pretty neat conclusion I came up with. I'm excited about it. I hope. Hope it helps you uh, figure out a way around. If you're one of those that are redoing the rear end, you happen to um, use up all of yours, and you have some lithium grease. Most folks who work on their cars have lithium grease. It goes a long way. This happens to be really, really old. That's why it's so stiff. I had it in a tub, kind of like a gear or a hub oil, or a grease, I mean. I really like that color. I'm gonna put a flashlight on that, see if it'll brighten it up. It actually makes it look white, makes it look white in the video. Let's see if I can. Well, that's about the best it's gonna get, let's see. 
Yeah. That light just kind of messes it up. I guess the natural light will be better. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoy. Like the comments. Um, like the video and leave some comments and let me know what you think. And if you've got a better idea or something that uh, you did that worked, let me know. Thanks.